In the First Battle of Wissenberg an Allied army commanded by de Gobert Sigmund von Wormser attacked the French army of the Rhine under Jean Pascal. Carlins. After an ineffectual resistance, the French army abandoned its fortified line behind the Lauter River and retreated towards Strasbourg in confusion. This engagement of the War of the First Coalition occurred on the eastern border of France about 60 kilometers north of Strasbourg. After the siege of Mainz in which the Prussian army captured the city, the army of the Rhine fell back into the lines of Weissenberg, a position first fortified in 1706. Soon Wormser, with an army composed of troops from Habsburg, Austria, French royalists and allied German states began putting pressure on the lines. Meanwhile, the French army organization was in disarray after two previous army commanders were arrested and sent to Paris prisons. Since no one wanted to lead the army, the representatives on mission appointed Carlins, recently a lieutenant colonel of cavalry. After a series of skirmishes, Worms launched a successful assault. After the French retreat, the inept Carlins was arrested and replaced in army command by Jean-Charles Picagru. At the urging of the government, Picagru began launching a series of attacks designed to recover the lost territory. These resulted in the battles of Frochevilla and 2nd Wissenberg. Background During the War of the First Coalition, General der Cavalerie Worms's Austro-Allied army threatened to invade Alsace. Accordingly, the French army of the Rhine manned the lines of Eisenberg, a line of earthworks dating back to the War of the Spanish Succession. The lines began near Wissenberg and stretched about 20 kilometers in an east-southeasterly direction to the Rhine River at Lauterberg. This traces the modern-day France-Germany border. During this period, the Army of the Rhine's command structure remained chaotic. In July 1793, Adam Philippe Custine was replaced in command. He was guillotined at the end of August. General of Division Charles de Landremont became commander on 18 August and served until 29 September when he was arrested for treason. Unlike his predecessor M.G. Alexandre, Vicomte de Buhamis who was guillotined in July 1794, Landremont survived the experience, dying in 1818. M.G. Meunier took command for two days until his replacement by M.G. Jean Carlens on 2 October. M.G. Charles Picagru replaced Carlins on 27 October. At the same time, M.G. Lazare Hoche assumed overall command of both the Army of the Moselle and Picagru's Army of the Rhine. On 20 August, a column made up of Austrians, Hessians, and French emigres clashed with 3,000 French at Jockgrim on the Rhine, north of Lauterberg. Feldmarschall Lieutenant Moritz Kavanaugh's Allied force included five infantry battalions, six light infantry companies, 13 cavalry squadrons, and 12 cannons. French General of Brigade Louis Theobald Ilha led three battalions, six squadrons, and ten guns. The Allies had the better of the encounter, losing 147 casualties. The French lost 103 men and five cannons captured, plus an unknown number of killed and wounded. While leading some dragoons, Ilha was killed by a Hessian Jaeger. A flurry of actions followed as Worms had drove in the French outposts and tapped at the main lines. Skirmishes occurred on 21 and 27 August, and on 7, 11, 12, 14, 19, 20, 23, and 30 September. On 12 and 20 September, two battalions of the Kaiser Infantry Regiment led by Obus Gerhard Rosselmini clashed with the French at Bad Bergsabon and Bianwald Müller. Battle. French Army Army of the Rhine. General of Division Jean Carlin's Advance Guard. General of Division Jean Baptiste Menier Brigade. General of Brigade Augustin Eisenbert Brigade. General of Brigade Ferret Brigade. General of Brigade Jean Francois Combes Right Wing. General of Brigade Paul Alexis Dubois Brigade. General of Brigade Claude Ignace Francois Michaud Brigade. General of Brigade Claude Legrand Center. 
General of Division Louis Dominique Munier Brigade, General of Brigade Marshal Vachot Center, General of Division Jean Nicolas Mechelet Brigade, General of Brigade Bariol Brigade, General of Brigade Eisenbert Left Wing, General of Division Claude Ferry Brigade, General of Brigade Louis de Sex Reserve, General of Division Dominique Dietman Brigade, General of Brigade Barthélemy de la Farelle Brigade, General of Brigade Jean Francois Ravel de Puy Contal, Austrian Allied Army Allied Army, GDK de Gobert von Worms the First Column, FML Christian, Prince of Waldeck und Piermont Brigade, GM Adam Lichtenberg Brigade, GM Karl Funk von Senftenau Second Column, FML Friedrich Freier von Hotzer Brigade, Obfranjo Jalacic Brigade, GM Alexander Jordis Brigade, GM Karl Alfses Third Column, FML Hotzer Brigade, OBL Ignat Gale Brigade, Ob Johann von Klenor Fourth Column, GM Johann Messeras von Zoboslo Brigade, Obsel von Pellegrini Brigade, GM Johann Messeras von Zoboslo Fifth Column, GM Karl Brunner von Hirschbrunn 6th Column, GM Siegfried Kosbeth 7th Column, Louis Joseph de Bourbon, Prince de Conde Brigade, GM Via Menel, Key GDK equals Austrian General der Cavalerie Commands in Army or Corps FML equals Austrian Feldmarschall Lieutenant Commands a Corps or Division GM equals Austrian General Major Commands a Brigade OB equals Austrian Obis Commands a Regiment OBL equals Austrian Obis Lieutenant is second in command of a regiment. Action on 13 October 1793, Worms launched his main assault against the fortified French positions. The Allied forces succeeded in breaching the line, forcing a French withdrawal south to Hagenau. The French suffered 2,000 killed and wounded, plus 1,000 soldiers, 31 guns, and 12 colours captured. The Allies suffered 1,800 casualties. The day after the battle, an Allied force under Franz von Lauer laid siege to the nearby Fort Louis in the Rhine River. The 4,500-man French garrison surrendered the fortress on 14 November. The French government quickly rushed Hoche's army of the Moselle into the area to help drive back Wormser. This move precipitated the Second Battle of Wissenberg in December 1793.